All right, Wildcats, we are so glad to have you guys. It's going to be a fantastic day. Again, welcome to PE. We missed you. It's great to see all of you. Before we get going today, you need to be prepared. You're going to need the following. Three of any small types of either a beanbag, a hacky sack, three balls, or three rolled up pairs of socks. Please, at this time, go get them if you haven't already. All right, you guys, if you haven't gotten them already, you're probably not going to get them. So just pretend when we do the activity that you have them. All right, we need everybody up. We're going to do our warm up. This simulation is called Ski Chase. Now, it truly is a simulation. You're either going to jump, slide, or duck from the items that come down in front of you. So you're gonna pretend like you're a downhill skier or snowboarder, and you're either going to jump, slide, or duck. We need you up, we need you all involved, and here we go. Hey, get off my mountain. Bring on the avalanche. All right, you guys, great job. That was awesome. Again, that was a fun simulation. I really enjoyed that one. So uh, now we should be warmed up. I'm gonna turn it over to you, Mr. Whitehead. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Ladenslager. It is like, I hope you got your VR goggles on. Today's class has all sorts of uh, interactive stuff like virtual reality. So uh, more of that to come in a little bit. For us right now, we are going to do our group game we like to show you guys different things you can do with the people in your household to have fun and stay active. So this one's called a flip a coin workout. You can see the list of activities we have there. And we've got a little video flip a coin that we are going to use to help us. But in real life, you just take a coin and flip it. And if it lands on heads, you do the uh, one of the items on the left for heads. And if it lands on tails, you do one of the items on the, on the right for tails. OK, so we've got our virtual coin flip here. So let's uh, give it a flip and see what activity we're going to do. So let's see what we get on our first flip. Tails, it landed on tails. It says heads there, but that's just the title of the video. So uh, that's actually the tails. So we're gonna do mountain climbers. Everybody get down into push up position. We are gonna do mountain climbers, 20 seconds, ready, go. Start moving, move those feet, move those feet. Good, 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 keep it moving. Great job, keep going, going, going. Good job. Almost there. 
All right, come on back now to the screen. Good job with your mountain climbers. Let's click on to the next one and see what we are going to do for our next activity. Is it going to be heads or tails? Flip the coin. It's heads. So that means crunches. We're going to do crunches. I want everybody to do 10 crunches on your own, down in your on your back, crunch position. Knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor. And you're coming up. Make sure your shoulder blades come all the way off the ground and that your, uh, your core comes off the ground a little bit too. You're not going all the way up. You're just engaging those core muscles. 10 of them should be just about done now. Work it, work it. Good. All right, come on back to the screen. We'll do a couple more here. Let's roll the dice again or flip the coin. What do we end up with? Heads again. So we're gonna do squats right there where you're standing, arms are out in front of you. And I want you to do 10 squats on your own. Ready, go. Count them to yourself, get out 10. Very good. Some of you guys are just staring at us though. We need to see you up and moving. Come on now, this is your PE grade. This is how you get participation credit. If you're not moving or we can't see you, then we can't give you credit. So make sure we're not staring at your ceiling or your uh, fan. All right, good. Should have finished about 10 squats. Come back. Let's do one more now. One more, Mr. Estes. Let's see, give a flip. Tails again. So we're doing a forearm plank. Everybody down on the floor, forearms are, uh, your arms are bent, your forearms are on the ground, and do a 20 second forearm plank on your own. Go ahead. Very good. Again, I just want to comment on the fact that uh, if you're staring at us right now, we know you're not doing it. And if you're on the floor, we would love for you to be able to angle your camera so we could see you when you're on the ground working out because that helps us know that you're participating. We want to be able to give you credit for it. All right. Very good. Just about finished and come back up. We're gonna move on now to our next activity. So come on forward, take a look. Ooh, we got the Pokemon challenge. Not really Pokemon, but we gotta catch them all. Uh, this is where you need those socks or those bean bags that Mr. L asked you to get. So gather those items real quick, make sure you got them. Ooh, I see some of you have them, very good. But uh, here we go, we're going to do this challenge. See if you can catch all three. Let's watch this and uh, just watch first. They're going to introduce it to us. And then when the when the young man starts doing it, that's going to be your chance to do it. And then at the end, you'll see the teacher. He shows us kind of how to do it. Uh, there's a little bit of a trick to it. So let's see if you can catch them all. Here we go. All right, great job. Uh, we really love seeing you guys be active like that. And I hope that you can take this and challenge your family members to do it as well. We are gonna now pass it on over to Mrs. Ponciano. Oh, look, she's skiing in the Alps. Look at her, awesome. She looks like she's having fun. Ms. Ponciano, take it away. Thanks, Mr. Whitehead. Just wanted to say, I'm so glad we're in January and I'm so glad we're in 2021. So um, it's gonna be a really amazing year. And um, we're just going to keep rolling along. We want resiliency and true grit just to get through all this amazing stuff you guys are doing. So uh, this dance we're going to do next, these kinds of dances are always fairly on the easy side because just, they just start slowly adding pieces to it. But if you're choosing not to do the dance, you better be doing a full three minute workout along with the music. And that is you can do whatever jumping jacks, you can go right into curl ups, push ups, burpees, but just make sure it's three minutes of full movement if you're choosing not to do the dance. So right now, get ready to do the dance, have fun with it, and enjoy the rhythm and doing all the moves to the rhythm. Ready to go. Welcome to your dance track. You can add your style and attitude as we go along. Let's begin. Two elbows. Step together. Elbow. Elbow. Step together. 
Can you push your elbow to the side? Hey guys, what's up? And if you guys got this thing, that's all good. Jump, let's do it. Jump, jump, skip. Jump, jump, and skip. Put your hands in the air and skip. Elbow and step. Other side. Elbow, throw. How can we make this more smooth? Slide like you're sliding across ice. Good. How about you, Missy? How smooth you'll make it. Slide. Boom, that's the one. Good job, guys. Dance and tight. Now we can add your style. Jump. Your style and your attitude. Hands up or down. How can we make it more crazy? I'll tell you how. You just do what feels good to you. Hands everywhere. Good work, guys. One more. Elbow. Slide. Salute. Boom. Smooth. And then salute. Can you make it super sharp? Pop. Can you slide across the ground like you're sliding on ice? Nice. Put your hands up in the air and sweep. Other way now. Can you take your hands everywhere? Now you can add your style. Whoa. Woo. Other side. How big can you make your hands? Super big, reach everywhere. Let's jump, let's jump. Hands up, skip it. Let's see your attitude. Hands up, hands up, wherever you want to go. Let's do it. <laughs> awesome, guys, keep going. Slide, slide. Salute. Smooth, now super sharp. <laughs> How far can you slide? Go now. Well done, guys. Good job. Your dance track's done. Great job, you guys. That was really fun to watch. And again, those of you who chose not to do it, really good job also doing all the cardio workout on your own with the other, uh, your choice ones you did. Now we're going to move on to our fitness muscle activity. This fitness muscle one happens to be a Spider-Man workout. Now, if you've noticed, where all of us are trying to hit all different kinds of activities and things. Some of you may think this is a really fun activity. Some may not think it's quite as, you know, kind of might think it's weird, but we're trying to offer such an array of different types of things that we get you interested and in. we're trying to make it non-boring activities. So that's what we're trying to do every single time we do this. So the Spider-Man, he is actually dressed up as Spider-Man and he's actually doing moves with his hands that Spider-Man would do when he's putting his web out there. So Really get into this. I want to see some Spider-Man moves. Copy what he's doing and stay along with him and have fun.
All right, I saw some real Spider-Man out there, those moves, great job. I'm gonna hand it off now to Mr. Estes. All right, thank you, Mrs. Ponciano. So good to be with you guys. I'm actually up here in the Northern Territories above Canada, just enjoying this, um, the Northern Lights. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, uh, they're amazing. So moving on, we're, we're jumping into um, some, some of our skill related uh, fitness components. And so the first one we're gonna talk about is reaction time. Now reaction time is really, really important, um, especially in sports, like, um, like when you're getting ready to begin a sprinting event, uh, reaction time is really important because it can mean the difference between a win and a loss in an event. So um, really, really important. Um, we're gonna watch this little tutorial and then we're gonna go into an activity where you can practice working on your reaction time. All right, here we go. Brain bites, reaction time. I'm your pee pal, Flicker, but most people just call me a nuisance. Today's topic, reaction time. Reaction time is the time it takes to respond to a stimulus. What is a stimulus, you ask? A stimulus is an event the body recognizes through its senses that may need a response. You have five senses. Sight, touch, hearing, taste, and smell. When a stimulus is sensed, a message goes to your brain. Your brain then sends a message to your body on how to react. The time from the stimulus to the action is called the reaction time. A quick reaction time can be important. Like when you're driving. Reaction time is also very useful when you're playing sports, like net and wall games, and invasion games that require chasing and fleeing, like basketball, striking and fielding games that involve hitting a pitch or catching a ball, like baseball, races that start with a sound, like sprints, and combat sports, like fencing. Reaction time with sight. Have a friend hold a ruler above and between your thumb and pointer finger. When the friend lets go, try to catch it before it slides through your fingers. The number on the ruler where you catch it is your score. Your brain is reacting well to all the new knowledge from Brain Bites. Physical education's food for thought. All right, awesome. Okay, hopefully you guys gleaned a little bit of info and um, it's not so foggy what reaction time is. Um, so now moving on, we're going into an activity where you can practice honing those skills of reaction time, okay? And so the way this is going to work is this is kind of a, a fun activity where there's gonna be different things that are gonna be kind of thrown at you, okay? It's winter type stuff. So you'll, you'll see um, you're gonna run through a blizzard. So if it says to run through the blizzard, you just run as fast as you can, okay? Um, if there's like um, an icicle about to drop on you, you gotta you know, try to avoid the icicle. And basically what this is to, um, having you practice is as something, uh, some kind of stimulus comes at you, you are trying to as quickly as possible avoid that or react accordingly. So that's what reaction time is. How quickly can you react to a stimulus? So have fun, enjoy this. Here we go.
All right. That was awesome, guys. It was really fun to see you guys working through that. Okay, working through those blizzards and icicles and all the things that were being thrown at you. Uh, fun for us to watch. You guys being a little silly. All right. Moving on. Our next uh, concept, our skill-related concept is power, okay? And again, um, this is another really important one, okay? Because we can talk about power with your muscles, okay? You, that ability to um, exert force, okay? Um, power can also be in your jumping ability, your vertical jump, it could be. Um, so there's different types of power that we can talk about. Um, so in this Brain Bites video, we are going to um, be giving you some info on exactly what power is as a fitness concept um, or as a skill related concept rather. All right. So here we go. Brain Bites Power. I'm your PE pal, Rin Osiris. My friends call me Jackhammer because I can power through anything quickly. Today's topic, power. Power is the ability to produce a maximum amount of work in the shortest amount of time. But what is work, you ask? Hmm. Work is moving something with force over a distance. So if I move an object for a distance, quickly, I'm demonstrating power. Power is using your muscles to move an object for a distance, quickly. Quick work equals power. Stand next to a wall. Jump off of two feet as high as you can. Measure the distance you jumped. This distance is also a measure of leg power. Powering your mind and your body with brain bites. Physical education is food for thought. All right, nice job, Wildcats. Hopefully that made a little bit of sense. Um, now, as we uh, move into practicing that, we're going to show you uh, this video. This guy, he's actually going to be using like a, um, a sport band, uh, like kind of a stretchy band that he has over the legs to help him. You don't need that. This is something that you can do without that. But basically, you see the word explosive body weight there. Um, the, the activities he's going to have you guys doing is going to be some plyometrics kind of thing. So you're going to be jumping. Um, starting from your knee position, you're going to be doing some um, alternating lunges. Basically, what these are, are um, getting you to practice is really building that muscle and that explosiveness in your, in your legs, because that's where that power comes from. So um, we're going to go through this. The first part, he's going to kind of explain it to you, so you don't have to do it right then, and then we'll show it again, and uh, you'll do it with them. All right, so here we go. Now, the first exercise in round one is an explosive kneeling jump to tuck jump. This is a very explosive jump that starts off on your knees. You jump up into an athletic squat position and then dynamically jump as high as you can, bring your knees to your chest. The modification to this exercise is a normal tuck jump. Just jumping on the spot, bring your knees to your chest. The next exercise in round number one is an explosive plyo plank. Start off in a regular plank position, elbows in line with the shoulders, making sure you have a straight line from the ears, shoulders, hips, and ankles. From here, you wanna dynamically explode from your elbows all the way to a straight arm plank position, making sure to keep your glutes engaged and core tight. The modification to this exercise is to start from your knees. This allows a little bit more balance and stability in the core as you explode up onto your hands. Three, two, one, go. Gotta be very explosive, very dynamic, and bring those knees to the chest. 
Now we're gonna go right into the planks. Let's quickly. It's 15 seconds of each exercise. And then it's switching. And we do it twice in the circuit. Three, two, one. Going right back. We always start off with that explosive exercises first to get those out of the way. Get the heart rate up and really work hard. Last one. Last 15 seconds. Push yourself. We get a 30 second rest. Three, two, one. Wow. Round number two is an explosive alternating split lunge jumps. This is an amazing exercise as it develops explosive functional athletic power. Make sure to stay coordinated and synchronized with each jump, opposite arm to opposite leg, as you explode up and switch the legs. The modification to this exercise is just a single leg jump on one side. So for 15 seconds, you'll jump on your left side straight up on the same leg. And on the next 15 seconds, then you go to the other leg making sure to stay engaged, locked, and loaded through the duration of the time. The next exercise in round number two is the explosive jackknife push-up. This is a full body push-up where you dynamically explode off the ground, bringing your feet and hands together. The modification to this exercise is you just go into a push-up and then on the way up, you bring your feet to your hands. Two, one, go. 15 seconds. You can get as high as you want. Make sure you're controlled throughout the movement the entire time. Four, three, two, one. Jackknife push ups. Stay in control of the movement and be explosive as you possibly can. Three, two, back up. We're nonstop, baby. High intensity. You want to train like an athlete? This is the program. Three, two, one. You guys know the modifications. We went through it at the beginning. Three. Two, last one. All right, nice job, Wildcats. That was awesome. You guys really worked hard. I'm sure you're tired. Um, those, those muscle activities for your quads especially, um, those can be some thigh burn. So I uh, appreciate the effort. All right, moving on, I just want to remind you of our fitness card, okay? Because we are in January. We're not doing our fit log this month. We took a break from that, so we're doing our fitness card. Um, and so again, just a reminder, you already in first trimester took care of the standard, okay, and the pretest. All right, those are the standard is attached to the assignment. So if you need to go back and look at that, if you're brand new, um, then you can do that. But we already did the pretest. And so eventually we'll work on test in this trimester, but right now we're not doing that. We're focusing down here on skill related components. Okay. So um, last class, we did the stork test and the 30 meter sprint, okay, for speed, balance and speed. We are now working on reaction time and power. And so we're going to be, I'm going to pass it over to Mrs. Oliver, who is going to um, give us an idea and, and uh, get us started on some tutorials on how to do and assess your ruler drop for reaction time and the vertical jump for power. All right, so here is Mrs. Oliver. Thank you, Mr. Estes. So if you guys can see this, look how cute that is. That's the license plate. I've actually been to the Northern Territories. Ter territories. I went to a place called Yellowknife, look it up. But look at the license plates. You know, we have our rectangular ones. It's shaped like a bear, that's kind of cool. So wanted to share that with you, I thought that was fun. Now we're gonna show you uh, a tutorial that's got one of us that's uh, showing you how to do the ruler drop different uh, ways to do it and how to be successful at it. So let's watch this tutorial and we'll go from there. 
All right, guys. It's Mrs. Oliver here. I know. Got my mask on. Social distancing. So today we're going to talk about reaction time. And for reaction time, we're going to do what's called the ruler test. And the ruler test is, I'm going to show you a picture right here. You can see right here, one hand is up here, the other hand is down below. It, somebody else has to do it with you, so Mr. Lottenslager is going to help me. But you're going to drop it. Mr. L is going to drop it. It's going to start with the 1. we got to make sure the lowest number is on the bottom up to the 12. And what you're going to do is, I could do it, I guess I could just do it myself. Like this, and then I'm going to drop it, and then I'm going to grab it. First time I grabbed it, it says a four. Can you see the four? If I do it again, drop it. Oh, that time I got a five. Four is my best score. You want the lower scores, the better. Do it again, do it a third time. Oh, that time I got a seven. So it's a reaction. So the first time I reacted the best. I could do it again, and you know, I could cheat. It's better with somebody else doing it. So that's how you do the reaction test, okay? Easy enough. One more time, here's the picture. That's how you do it. And again, the ruler is with the one on the bottom and the 12 on the top. Got it? Cool. Now you're not actually gonna do it right now, but you are gonna do it later. Uh, you're gonna finish. So we're, we've already done score number one for the first two tests. Now we're gonna do score number one for the what's called reaction time. And then we're gonna do the power one next. As a reminder, that tutorial is gonna be up on our website, eispe.com, and it'll stay there so that if you can't quite remember what to do, that's how you do it. All right, now we're gonna move on to our power, our power vertical jump tutorial, okay? We're gonna talk about that one on this next tutorial and tell you how to do it and how to get your score. Again, score number one on power because vertical jump involves power, okay? So watch this tutorial and it'll tell you what to do. This one is called our power, it's our power test for our vertical jump. This machine or this apparatus behind me, we have two of these and when we do come back to school, we'll actually use those. We're gonna do something different in a minute, but I'm gonna show you how we do it. So I walk through here at my regular height and I can get six, six of those. So that means I, that's, that's my natural reach. My vertical jump or my power of my legs using my arms, I'm gonna try to go as high as I can. You hear people talk about their vertical leap being, you know, 37 inches or whatever. EGADs, I'll be lucky. I'll be lucky to get 12 because I'm just, I'm not, a, I'm not a good jumper. It's just not. When I was younger, I had decent hops. Mrs. Ponciano, she had abnormally, when she was in high school, she would jump and just kind of hang in the air and then come back down. None of us understood. But it's a two-footed thing and you jump, and I'm, I'm gonna do slow motion, but I'm, I'm jump and try to touch as high as I can. So jump and touch as high as I can. So I got up to a three. So two, four, six, eight, nine inches. And then I can do it again and try to get even higher. But ooh, I got up to the five. So almost 12 inches. So not perfect. Again, two feet standing. Now what we're gonna ask you guys to do is do it with a piece of tape. All right, so I put it, it sounds silly. You can see on here, I've got a piece of tape on my finger. I've got a piece of tape wrapped around my finger, sticky on the outside. I'm just gonna stand next to the wall and I'm gonna try to stick that on the wall. So there it is, that's my, that's my starting point, okay? Then I'm gonna take another piece of tape and I'm gonna put on my finger, this is not, you know what, masking tape would probably work a lot better. But I'm gonna put it on my finger and try to jump as high as I can, okay? Same thing, two feet next to each other and then I'm just gonna jump. It's really a good idea of power, it's not only your legs, using those arms and using it as an impetus to get you up. So then I'm gonna jump, and I'm gonna stick it, it didn't stick, but I did get all the way up. You saw where I got? So I got, that's how high I got. So I can measure that with a ruler to see what my vert was, okay? Same thing, I could do it again three times and we'll see how high we get. So if you come back here, we start with the tape on the bottom, go up here, it's about seven and a half. Not even eight. That's bad. I don't jump well. But 
That's how you do vertical leap. The stronger you are, this is power. Power in your lower body, power in your legs. Good job, make sure you write it in score number one under power, vertical jump. All right, guys, so we're into our skill-related fitness. This is the part of the card that we're gonna be filling out for this month. This is besides our fitness testing. Down here, you'll see them all, and it says skill-related. Balance, speed, reaction time, power, agility, coordination. All these tests, and we're gonna write all your scores in in score number one. You can try them multiple times, but for now, this is all going to be score number one. And you'll see on there, the stork test, 30 meter sprint, ruler drop, vertical jump, three cone test, and a tennis ball throw. And we're actually gonna be showing you those. You're gonna be showing you those. You'll notice my card is purple. It's a little bit different than what you have online. You can make it any color you want. And hopefully you've got your picture there. All right. Nice job, way to watch. Most of you were very intent on that. So again, these are the next two tests that we're gonna to do to fill in our fitness card. Again, you're not doing our, our fit log, we're doing our fitness card. Nice job. Now we're gonna move on into our cool down, okay? So guys, we've, we've watched this gal before. Um, now we're just kind of a little further along in her workout and we're gonna do what she tells us to do and we're gonna get to the cool down portion. So everybody, get ready. Here we go and watch the video. Next, we'll get a nice hamstring stretch. Place your feet two shoulder widths apart, bend forwards at the hip, keeping a slight bend in your knees. Let your head hang down, let your heartbeat begin to calm. We'll stay here for a few moments. Next, walk your feet together and keep a flat back, shoulders back, as you stretch your hamstrings, keeping a soft bend in your knees. Next, meet on the ground as we stretch out our abs in Cobra. Press the tops of your feet and thighs firmly on the floor. Place your hands directly under your shoulders and exhale as you push up. Take a few breaths here, really feeling that stretch in your abs. And come down. We'll push back up one more time. Breathe in and let it out as you come down. And for our last move, we'll meet in down dog. Pedaling out your feet here, feeling the stretch in your legs, arms, and even your lower back. Excellent, way to go you guys, I love it. So in conclusion, we're gonna move to our independent work and you're gonna read there, it says, you know, we're taking a break from our fit log and we've already talked about that. You guys can still keep the log on your own and actually uh, might count as some extra credit. So you can still keep that. But remember, um, when the exercises that you're doing are getting too easy for you, you need to up the frequency, okay? Or the intensity or the time. And that's gonna push you towards your goals. The independent work this month will be to work on your fitness card. The skill-related components section of your fitness card must be completed by February 5th. Remember, do not turn it in. We're not turning it in. Your teacher is going to view it in Google Classroom to see that you are completing it. Okay? Everybody got that? I know you do. It's been a great, great day. You guys, I, I want you to know how hard Mrs. Ponciano works to vary all the activities. We're not really repeating, and that's a lot of work. And I, I, it's great to see all the different myriad of activities that we can participate in. So have a great rest of your week. It's great to see you. We'll see you soon. Take care, stay warm, be happy. Bye guys. Bye. See you later, everybody. Hey guys. Bye. Thanks for being here today.